friends, welcome to Green Car Guys TV. I'm your host, John Ting. I'm an immigration lawyer in Texas. I practice in all 50 states of America and across the world, helping immigrants live and work in America legally. Friends, if you're new to this channel, please click subscribe down below, hit the bell so you get all our notifications of future content. We wanna provide free value to you and smash the like button for us. That really lets us know that you're enjoying our content and leave a comment or a question. We really try to get back to you as soon as possible if it's a situation where we can answer in a public forum. Today's episode, we wanna show you a quick tip on how to save time by finding your travel history. And that is through the Customs Border Protection website, CBP, and US Immigration Agency. Friends, you'll wanna listen all the way until the end so you can get all the tips. But here's the main reason why we wanna save you some time. It's because all your emails or your travel itinerary could be in everywhere, or you could have deleted it. We have a couple clients that like to delete emails right after they view it. So they just don't have it cluttered in the inbox. I completely get it. Before we do a deep dive of the website, another way to check your travel itinerary is through, for example, your uh, airline websites. If you can remember all the airlines that you've flown with. Now, as of the date of this recording, November 21st, 2020, we're only less than two weeks away before USCIS and increases the number of questions on the civics test. Right now it's 10 questions. You only need to get 60% right. That's six questions, but it's going to increase to 20 questions and you have to get 12 right. That's still 60%, but it's just more questions, more time in the interview room. And a lot of people I know know English very well. They've lived here a long time, but it's just like any test. No one wants to go through it and stay there longer. So I recommend if you are eligible right now, the general rule is three years of resident status, whether it's conditional or permanent, if it's based on marriage, that you got your green card through your marriage. Now, if you, for example, got it initially through marriage, but then you divorced, it's a default five years that you have to wait. So that is a main requirement to see if you're eligible for naturalization to become a US citizen. Um, of course, there's other items to consider. If you would like us to review whether you're eligible or not, contact us or website down below to schedule an appointment. You have our phone number. And if you are a past client of our firm, it'll be really quick for us to onboard you and get your application filed as soon as possible to USCIS because we have most of your information. Okay, so we're here at the C Customs Border Protection website specific to your travel history. Now, you'll see this first pop-up security notification. Just click consent and continue. So you scroll down, enter your travel information, your first, last name, your date of birth, and your passport number, and the country of your passport. Now, something to keep in mind is if you have updated your passport once in the last five years, you're going to have two passport numbers. So make sure you find your old one. And then after that, you just click next and it should pop up your travel history. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to rely on the old school, checking all your old emails or your American Airlines, your AA.com or other airlines uh, travel history. But we just want to show you the best tip that could save you some time. But this is where I would go first if you can't find your travel itinerary, which join our Facebook group. We have one called Immigration Guide and Support Living America. You can also find it on Facebook by typing in our favorite phrase, green card guys. In addition to immigration tips, we also share places to live, why people are living there, school choice. So there's a lot of information that you can find. If you know someone that can gain value from this information, please share it with them as soon as possible. It would really mean a lot. Until next time, please continue wearing masks and stay safe.